Hey guys, happy Thursday and welcome to station one. Today we are going to do a fun science experiment and we're going to figure out if something is a solid, a liquid, or a gas. But before we get to that experiment, we're going to talk about content area words. So informational text, nonfiction, use words from science and from social studies to tell us about a topic. So when we are reading, we can look at the title, we can look at the heading, the pictures, or maybe a caption, and we're going to figure out what these words mean. In just a minute, you're going to see a video from Miss Cindy Garner, and she's going to explain what a title, a heading, a photograph, and a caption is. You're going to need to pay attention to the title, heading, photograph, and captions, so that way you can get really good information and help you figure out what these science or social studies words mean. Because maybe you don't know what a solid is or a liquid is or a gas is, but by looking at the pictures, the title, the heading, the caption, things like that, you can get some context clues and figure out what they mean. So if you look at the title, you can figure out what you're going to be reading about. The heading is similar to a title, it's not the big part up here, but the heading does tell you more stuff about what's coming next. Uh, look at those pictures, those real photographs, you can learn a lot from looking at the photographs. And then captions underneath the photographs will also tell you what's going on in the picture. While you're looking at all this stuff, you need to be asking and answering questions. Hmm, I wonder why they're doing this. Or, oh, now I see that they're doing this thing in the picture. That explains what they were saying earlier. So ask and answer questions while you read and use the context and the words and the sentences near what you're reading to help figure it out. So that is content area words. And again, Miss Cindy Garner, she's going to go over all of this in a quick little example that she's got set up for you. Hi everyone, Miss Garner's here to share with you and to review with you four text features. Title, heading, photograph, caption. Behind me is a Scholastic News Magazine print and on the front cover of this is our title. Titles are, all, titles are always found on the front covers of magazines and books. Autumn to winter changes. So on the inside, we're gonna learn all about what changes from autumn to winter. Do you see a heading? A heading is a second feature. A heading also supports the title. Do you see any words from our title? If so, you might see it already. Do you see anything that has that is bold or stands out that are words? Forest changes. That's our heading. A heading is bold. It stands out. The letters stand out. And it also has something to do with the title. The next thing we need to look at is photographs and caption. Here we have some wonderful photographs of rabbits. The caption is going to explain to us what the photographs are about or the author's purpose for these photographs. And I've discovered that these are sh uh, snowshoe hairs and how the fur changes from brown to white from autumn to winter. So again, the author decides what text features to use. Here I've showed you a title, the heading, a photograph, and the caption. Have a great evening. All right, great job guys. Now that you have finished station one, you can go to station two and get ready for the fun science experiment that we have set up. Bye.